Lafayette area, and uh, of course up there, IU people aren't the most well known, or so. So anyway, down in southern Indiana, there was these two guys. One of them was named John, and one of them was named Bobby. And uh, they decided they wanted to start farming, so they went uh, went to buy a mule. They had to go to Kentucky to find this mule. They get down in the hills of Kentucky and they run across this guy and he says, uh, well, I don't have a mule, but he says, I've got a mule leg. And these two boys looked at each other and, well, we could take a look at this mule leg. So about that time, uh, the guy gets in the back room there and he paints this watermelon white. So he carries that out there and he trips. Mule leg's rolling down the hill and out from under the rock, here comes a rabbit running. And the old watermelon's laying off here at the side all split open. And old Bobby says to Johnny, he says, let him go, Johnny. He says, well, why, Bobby? And he says, he's too fast to plow corn with anyway. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, they went on down, found another mule scanner. And they sold him a mule, sold him two boys a mule, and they brought him back to Indiana. And about a week later, they go back down there, and he says, this mule won't drink water. He says he can't last a week without water. He says he sure has. He says you need to give us our money back. He says no, you take him back up there. And he says Johnny, you take him to the creek. And he says you hold his head under water. And Bobby, you go around and you pump his tail. So they're back up there, and pretty soon they lead him down to the creek. Johnny, he's up there holding his head under the water, and Bobby, he's back there pumping tail. And he says Johnny, Johnny he says pull his head up. He says, well, why, Bobby? He says, I think he's a sucking butt. 